morning, YouTube, Rumble, copy, of course. How you doing on this fine, fine Monday morning? Welcome. Oh, good after morning. Welcome to this week's edition of Crack That Crap Open. Today we're going to go down the alley, around the corner, down the street a little bit and we're going to explore the world of crumble cake Cornell and Dale's king cake and I really wish that they would uh, increase the, the size of their font here so a half blind guy like me can read it. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, I cheated. I got notes. Okay, this is uh, this is an aromatic. It was blended by Jeremy Reeves. He does a pretty good job. It has black Cavendish, Oriental, Turkish, Perique. I likes me some Perique. And Virginia. It is flavored with nuts, beans, plum, and rum. I don't know about beans, what kind of beans? Pinto beans, and northern beans, navy beans, pork and beans, what, what kind of beans? And I'm ashamed to say, I'm not a bean kind of guy. Pork and beans, I'll do pork and beans. Anyways, let's see what we got going on here. Oh, this was tend on eleven oh three of twenty one. Back here on the can. They estimate the peak of this tobacco to be ten to fifteen years. I'll be dead when this stuff is supposed to be in its peak. Anyways. Shall we listen? You can get that frosty cold one. Whoa. That'll punch you in the face. We'll save the propaganda. We use that as the jar lid label. If I decide to jar this. If not, one of you fine, fine folks could end up with this when we build a box. There we go. Nice little brownie kind of thing going on there. Got a big one in there. Got a little chunky one in there. See? Now, I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to move the camera around and give you a view of how I prepare a crumble cake. Don't go away. Oh, righty now. Hope you can see, because, well, I can't now. Oh, the 
let's get this open back up. We'll lay the pieces out here. That one's fought on the card already. There's the there's the full size one. Yeah, nice, cheap, sharp knife. We're gonna cut on this one. You slice you off a chunk. Make sure you watch your fingers. You might want to get your uh, get your significant other to keep an eye on you in case you cut your finger off. And you just pick the chunky ones up and you just break them up. Let's see, today's pipe of choice. Gonna be the York Hawkbill. You ain't got that little, you know. Just, you know, trickle it down in there. Get your little finger, smooth it out. Okay, just below the rim. out of the way. Uh, sit that over there. And let's move the camera back so you can now see my pretty face. Hold on a second. Alrighty. Miss me? Yes, there it is. A little brisk this morning. The old moisture content there is not too bad. It's pretty good. Maybe it could have dried about a half hour. Hold on a sec. Heater blowing up. Well, the charring light sweet. I'm going to call it plum. <coughs> <coughs> looking for the peppery perique. I haven't found it yet. Good 
getting a hint of the hay from the Virginia. Let's see. There is the there's the Perico in the retro hell. Does nothing for the flavor of the coffee. I'm gonna say it's a pretty uh, mild, medium blend. It's not in your face. Who knows? In 10, 15 years, when my, one of my sons finds the jar and says, what is this? Maybe they'll like it. Well, I like it. Maybe it'll be better. Burning not too bad. No, it's not bad though. It's not gonna. It's not gonna offend uh, your significant other or any of your guests that might be visiting. not become a uh, this won't be an everyday smoke for me this will be uh, when I re when I need to reset my palate from all the uh, cherry cobbler I smoke This would do that. So I'm going to jar this up. Stick it on the shelf for right now. They're in a box right down here. Because the shelves are full. And I've been moving everything around trying to trying to find some of my uh, better jackets, my, you know, dress, in case I want to dress up.
my leather vests and stuff. I'm, uh, Oh, hey, Piper Ken, email me your address, your info, please. CorvetteGem at yahoo.com. Okay. I am prepared. To proclaim a score. Six point eight would have been higher had the Perique been a little more forward instead of having to go search for it. Okay. Well, I'm going to finish up here and get this loaded. Put them brownies in a jar. And I have a very important breakfast date this morning with a biscuit. And then back here to keep searching. This is what happens. You have you have three people load the truck and you got eight people unloading the truck. Oh well. I'm thankful for the help I got. I hope you're well and I hope you're safe. Every day is a school day. If you're not learning, you're being left behind. Go be kind to somebody. Go enjoy your day. Get outside. See what nature has to offer. Right now, nature has given me some sunshine and bare trees. Peace out. I'll see you. Uh, I'll see you Wednesday for sure. When we do another. You asked for it. Be good. <laughs>